Thanks for being here for our strength demonstration today. At Rule and Strength, we're often asked, what's the trick and what's the gimmick to the feats of strength that we perform? And I'm here to tell you there is no trick, there is no gimmick. For the past few years, at Rule and Strength, we've been studying the physical battle between the immovable object and the uh, unstoppable force. In our scenario, though, the unstoppable force isn't our muscles, it's our mind. At Rule and Strength, we believe that human beings have incredible, perhaps limitless potential that we've only begun to discover. Our bodies become the instruments of our mind's power. So we'll tear phone books with our hands, wrap steel bars around our bodies. We do this not only to entertain, but also to inspire. We do this so you can believe that anything is possible. I've got a 16 common nail, and I'll put it in my, uh, now this is nothing hard in here, it's just to protect my hand. And I've got this license plate, obviously not attached to the board. Signature feats of old time strongmen is bending a horseshoe. This is an ironcrafted horseshoe. I buy them from a farrier down in Tennessee. Now we're going to wrap these up so that I don't tear, tear them through my hands. And I'm going to make something prettier that we'll be donating here. So I don't know if it's for the ticket drawing or whatever they want to use it. So if anyone finds this uh, appealing, by all means, buy a raffle ticket. Or, is it a raffle ticket? Okay, so buy a raffle ticket if you find you like this. If you do happen to win this in the raffle or want this, uh, uh, it has slag. It's metal. It got bent, so it's got the slag on it. So that's why we'll put it in a paper towel so you don't get dirty. Phone book. That's the one. So, now, uh, part of the thing of being a strong man and doing these types of shows is can't script it. Something is always going to happen. And for me, the things that tend to happen is I'll bend the nail, driving it through a board, or I'll get a phone book that's especially soggy. That makes them like rubber, almost impossible to tear. So people give me phone books all the time. So let's see how this one is. This is a, about a, what, a two inch or so thick Indianapolis, Greater Indianapolis Yellow Book. Oh, before we start, <laughs> let's talk about the ways you can cheat. Because this is a very popular feat that people like to cheat. Ways you can cheat, break the spine. You break the spine, you're able to pull the phone book apart much easier. The other way is to tear it one page at a time, as such, from the side. Now you'll notice, I'm not going to tear it from the side. I'm going to tear it long ways, with just squeezing with my grip. Oh, yep, and sometimes that happens. So we flip it over. Let's see if we can get it this way. Please forgive the growls. <laughs> it's a hazard of the trade.
Ah, there you go. Thanks, bud. All right. Steel bending. Friend of mine in Tennessee also, he has a, uh, a welding shop and one of his specialties is making the cast iron fencing. Well, I went down to pick up a load of steel from him the other, a couple weeks ago. And he had these, these are toppers, they put on top of the uh, steel fence. He was joking around. He had a couple guys working for him in the shop and he's like, oh yeah, Mr. Tough Guy, here, bend this. So they handed me something, well, they handed me some piece just like this. It was actually a little shorter. And so I looked at it and I thought, well, the worst thing that could happen is I can't, and that's not too bad, so I'll try. <sighs> and the guys that work in the welding shop. Uh, let's have a spike. And the black wraps. Oh, here they are. So this is a, just set them down. This is a 12 inch spike. I bought this at Lowe's. These have notoriously given me a hard time. I'll start them off on my leg as I do many things. Like I said, when I, in my opening, we are, our body is just the instrument. Our mind is, is really directing the force um, so we use our body completely, as you'll see in some of the bigger bends I'm going to do in a few minutes. Uh, but these 12-inch spikes, I'm very happy to have added them in the last, what, few months? In the last few months, I started bending these spikes. It makes me really happy that we can do this. bought this at Lowe's. Um, let's see. Give me that gray towel. Show the people there's nothing in the towel. Now I'm just going to put the towel over this. I'm not going to wrap it up so for padding or anything. I just don't want to get slag all over my shirt. So just one time over. There, just like this. We're going to bend this in a tradition of the old time strong men. Now I've bent rebar before, but um, usually I'll test a lot before. Uh, show, but I didn't have any extra pieces. So we're going to discover together what the carbon content of this steel is and how hard it is to bend. Here we go. Give ourselves the best lever. And we got some rebar. 